Hi guys, it's Suzanne HB, Crazy Just Might Work on Instagram, and this tutorial is on the Not a Solution bracelet, which is a really um, interesting pattern when you look at it. It looks kind of like it's been laced up. Um, it's very straightforward, it's actually a chain based border, um, even though it doesn't really quite look like it. Um, if you want to start the chain, the chain is the white in this one, you can start the chain with the border colour. I, for some reason, tend to start all my chains with the same colour and I don't mind because it enables me to see pretty quickly where my clasp is and move it around to the back of my wrist. Um, but yeah, that's something that you may want to do if you like a more consistent look, is to start the first cap band with um, the border colour that you're planning on using. In this case, it's the black. Um, so, it's not terribly difficult, it's just a little tricky uh, working out what you're picking up. So what I've done is I've actually done my chain to start with. And you really need to know the look of a chain. I know that sounds a bit weird, but when you're holding the chain with the cap band facing open, or looking like a zero, like so, you'll notice that from this direction, you have an opening at the bottom of each band that's looped around there, and then it goes and it's closed all the way around this way. Then the next one, again, you can see it's open. When I mean open, you can split it apart at the bottom there, and these two sections aren't joined. This section isn't joined to this section. It's complete and it stops here. Now you need to know that and know the difference between that and when you look at it like this where at the bottom from this angle and it's more like a teardrop shape it's the top that's separate and then this is complete goes around like this because what we're going to do is actually go in and pick up the band like that and when we do the other side of the border from this angle we're going to go in and we're going to pick up the old because it's alternating so we're going to pick up every second on the way up and then we're going to pick up the ones that haven't been picked up on the way through we're going to pick those up so we need to know because it, it will want to twist so as you go up and you pull these ones into the border on this side oops, like this, it'll want to twist so if you go up and you grab it the wrong way you're going to be grabbing if you grab it that way it's not going to look the same you're going to get a different look so you have to make sure that every time you go to put the hook through the center chain this is the way that it's facing. Okay, so I'm going to do the border in uh, yellow and I'll just see if I can get my lighting going okay. So to start off with all you need to do is just a chain or pull the band through. That. I'm sorry my hook is flashing, I tried to dull it out a little bit but okay. So just one through there, hang on to that so it doesn't go sliding off and you're going to put the hook through that centre chain like so. And this is the same way that it gets picked up for the isometric, no isotonic rather, the isotonic bracelet. Um, so the pickup is the same but the sequence is different. So once you've got it through there, you're going to pull this through just that first one on the left, like that, and then grab a hold of the purple one as well, and they're both going to go under the left hand side of that yellow. So you can pull that under, or you can push that one over, it doesn't matter. And you're going to grab that one. That is then going to get hooked under these two here. So you can again either push those ones over or you can hook that one through like so. 
and then you grab another band and pop it on. And that's a sequence. Okay, so see how this is now pulled to the side? So you can see it wanted to twist around so that you've got it facing the wrong way. It wants to pull that way. So you actually have to make it twist back so that it looks like this and it's complete at the top on each loop. So we're going to skip this loop and go up to this one. Put it through there like so and do the same sequence. Pull this through just that left hand purple, pick up the right hand purple and put it under that left hand yellow. Put this one on and then these ones are going to be taken off whether you do that crochet way by pulling that under or whether you use the pick up and pull over method it doesn't really matter so long as those two end up getting kind of slip knotted with that then you add on another band and move up now what I should say is this will actually gather up um, reasonably um, probably you don't need, you need to chain at least one and a half times your wrist and then kind of judge from there depending on the bands that you're using it'll um, shorten or lengthen uh, a little more or less um, the limited edition round bands tend to slide against each other so it doesn't shorten up uh, quite as much as against the other bands so again just judge it as you go and because we're working from the cap band you can always add um, or take off the chain at the top if you discover that it's too long or too short. Alright, so again, see how that wants to pull over, but we want it to be turned back to be facing this way. Skipping one, going through the next one. Pulling that through the left hand, picking up that one as well and taking it through that left hand yellow, popping this one on, and if I can manage it, I'll try the pick up and pull over method. You need to get these two over the top of that one, and pop another one on. So as you'll see, it does make quite a distinct curve wants to pull it round, it'll actually end up, uh, if I unhook this, it'll go into like a this beautiful <laughs> spiral uh, curve, but when it's uh, hooked together at the end, it just, it sits, it's one of those bands that just sits the way you want it to sit and doesn't really go anywhere, it really, sits really nicely. Okay, so on to the next one, we go up, skipping one, and again, you're going to have to pull that back over towards your left. And go up through, put it through that band, pull through a band through that first one on the left, pick up the second one. So you've got two bands being hooked under that left hand side of this yellow loop. Hook that on and make sure that left hand one goes under those two middle ones, like so. So that's the whole sequence. I'll keep going until the end of this short piece. So again, every time you go through you have to make sure you turn it back and make sure you skip one and move on to the next one. That one goes through the left hand side, picks up the right hand side and hooks it under that left hand loop of the yellow. This one goes under these two or you can pull those two over that one. Whatever gets you there. Pull an extra band on for the next sequence. When you're getting towards the top, so we've skipped, we make sure we've got it facing the right way, skip one, go through the next one. 
That's not going to help, is it? How about I pull out a border band? There we go. Pulling that one through the left. Picking up that purple with it. Pulling those two under there and hooking on. Grabbing that one and pulling it through those two. And a band to finish the sequence. So, when you get up to here, we're going to be um, going through the back of this one at the top. So the very top one, whatever you decide is the top one, whether it's the one you've been through or the one next to it, because each um, band in the centre chain is going to have uh, the border attached to it, either from one side or the other. So this one will, right now it doesn't have one attached, but at the other side we'll pick this one up. So whichever is the top one, you're going to go through from the back, forward, and just slide a band through. Like so. When you've got it like that, you can take this C clip off that was holding it. You send a chain together and clip it on there. Now, if you don't want to do that until you know you've got the right length on there, you can just C clip that border until you finish the other one, and then you can go through this at the end. All right, so going back to our first. So you can see if I straighten it out, if it wants to curl like this, if I straighten it out, you get an idea of what that's going to look like on that side. So this is one that I prefer to do turning, starting from the cat band and moving towards me. And what we're going to be doing on this first one is two bands instead of just the one because we're skipping over that first chain that we put one through. Now, to see which way the chain should be facing, I put my fingers under this and make sure that that is pushed forward, otherwise it wants to curl over like this and it's hard to tell which part you're going to pick up on the way through. So with it facing up like this, you're going to have to look for, this is the previous band that we picked up. So you want to go in and find the next band right here. So if this is the previous band we've picked up here, the one right next to it is the side of the band we're going to pick up. So to demonstrate, that's the band that has the other side attached to it. So we're going to go and grab that through like that. If you can see, you can sort of see that's the loop before, that's the next loop facing in this direction. Hopefully it'll become obvious as we do a few more. So you do the same sequence, pull that through that left one, pick up the right one, hook it through that left part of this, attach and slip knot under those two. Add another band, and you're flipping, coming down towards yourself. This is where we've attached the other side, so this one underneath, and that bit next to it belongs to the same one, as you can see. So if you look, you should see that that's band that goes all the way around so if we turned it the way we're working the direction we're working from originally we're going into that same direction chain that we went into before because if you pick it up if you pick up like this one it's just not going to look the same you won't get the same effect okay so whichever one's got this these two loops going over go down to the next one and go across like that. 
I hope that's clear because it's a little bit difficult to explain this one. That's the only tricky part about this. The actual sequence isn't difficult. It's just working out which one you're picking up and making sure your um, centre chain is running in the same direction. So I'll just go through and show you. And see how that's just curling over, but don't worry about that because as I said it just it sits beautifully once you've got it done. Okay, so here is the center chain that we've got those two running through. So we go down to the next one, pick up that one like so, and then we pull through the left hand there, pick up those two pull under that left hand of that loop pick that one up and then slip knot that through those two pick up another band bringing it down towards you again there's that purple band that's got these two over the top so you go down to the very next one and pick up that like so. Really hope you can see this. Pulling it through, picking it up and pulling it through, popping that one on. That's a wonky band. And slip knotting that through. Those two. Grabbing another band, pulling it through. Oh, it, it does, look, see how curly it is? It's really funny, it's really curly. But like I said, it just, oh, it just sits beautifully. I'm, I'm a bit in love with this design. Okay, so we're gonna have just a couple more to go to get to the end of this piece. There's that one that's running through. So you pick up the next one down. And that one that's hiding, which is the other side of that loop. Same band, same loop. Pulling another band through. Picking up that one, pulling both of those under. Grabbing that one and slip knotting those under. Picking up another band. Like so. Dipping it towards yourself and then the next one should be I think the top one okay so this is going to go through the top one because you can see that's the band that has these two running through it so this is the next one and go through like that you can kind of see how that's the next loop in the chain same as when we're working up the other way so you do a sequence on here, pulling through, like so, and pulling another band through, and then working out which is the back of this band. Now, one way you could do it, I guess, is you could just actually join those ones in. That would work, actually. Because what I have been doing is also going... This is one way of working out where the back is. See how this runs like a chain up here? You'd go through the back there of that final chain up to the front and run another band through that. So this is what I've done on my previous ones, run another band through that. And then join those four on. And that's what I've done before. So we'll, we might do it that way. If you have a neater way of joining this, I've got to admit, starting and finishing bands are not my forte. Sorry about the clattering. So that's how you have it finished. And for me, that's a neat enough finish um, when it's put in like this. So that's how I finished this one. 
like so. But you could, as I said, just get those last two and just join those in instead of um, taking it through the back like you did before. And then it will just curl with the symbol of the finger. Like that. With the limited edition bands, I haven't noticed any need to um, tweak anything actually. But when I did it with the 600 pack bands, the flatter sort of bands, um, sometimes I just needed to tweak the way these two bands were sitting. Sometimes they just needed to be um, brought out so that they were sitting more clearly. So that was slightly out like that, not quite sitting the same. So you could. Because that's the band that's the slip knot, you can adjust that by tightening that, tightening the slip knot, or you could pull this one out from the back a little more. So they're really the only things I noticed I needed to adjust on the ones that I've made before. Um, other than that, it definitely doesn't wear on the other side because <laughs> it curls like crazy, um, but it curls just enough to sit very nicely. So I hope you enjoy this. I really um, I think you will enjoy making it. Like I said, I've made it with 600 pack bands. Um, I think it would probably be um, able to be made with anything. Uh, so I'd love to see your renditions. And uh, if you've got any questions, you know, you can always um, message me on Instagram. Uh, but I'd love to see your um, renditions. So please tag me. Um, in the comments and on the photos and uh, I'll come take a look at what you've done with this one. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed this and I'll catch you later. Bye!